Hi everybody, welcome to another episode. If you're new here, my name is Apila and this is a platform whereby I'm sharing my simple city lifestyle as I'm growing up to my 40s and I also do some sit downs in those experiences. If you are keen to see how that turns out, how I grow, how I learn, how I mess up, please do press the subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel, please watch the video until the end. So today I just want to have a quick chat. It's one of those days whereby I am standing, not sitting down, but having a chat. You know, I just want to have a quick chat about the things that mothers really, really need after they had babies, you know. The way you can support them, be it you are dead to a baby, or be it you are a sibling to a person who just became a mom, or be it you are a colleague to a colleague who just had a baby, or be it you are a friend to a friend who just became a mom. These are things I think they really, really stand out. They are important. They are common to most mothers, you know, things that we are really in need of to be supported, you know. So without wasting time, the first thing that a mom really, really needs, it's nappies, 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 nappies. We really, really can never get enough of a nappies because from what I recall and have witnessed back at home, uh, kids, they start potty training around about after the two years. But it's different for every baby and for every mom because we as mothers do things differently. We're all unique. We all have different beliefs so when it comes to how we're raising our kids you know so nappies are still going to go a long way who will really really love a nappies just a good gesture to anyone who's willing to be supportive to a mom out there nappies 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 you can never go wrong with nappies uh you can just find out a brand a mom is using what kind of nappies they're using to their kids and just provide them with that. That would be very, very nice gesture or that would be a kind gesture to a mom. Secondly is getting help with the baby. You know, as mothers get exhausted, you know. So we would really, really need a bit of a break, you know. We get to like um, be swamped with home cures or home duties uh, to working mothers they get to like try to balance work and home duties and also a baby and to us as their home moms we get to like try to balance home chores the baby home chores the baby personal life you know all those kind of things and we barely can get any break from all of that you know so it would be very nice to just get help when it comes to the baby, obviously two people whom we trust. I know when it comes to kids, you know, kids, they get to be attached to their mothers, obviously, because we've carried them for nine months. And also we're nursing them to those who are nursing or not nursing, obviously. But we mostly, especially stay at home moms, we mostly like with our babies 24-7, you know. So they get used to us and it's difficult to just detach from that. We know the tricks when it comes to setting them when they're fussy and all that, you know. Guys, we do get exhausted. As much as it's an amazing experience, it's a blessing, it's whatever, but we do get exhausted, you know, because there's no leave there's no break from it so um to any person of uh, to anyone who's willing to be supportive and help a mom out there maybe seeing that they're overwhelmed you know it will be a good gesture to just help them out with a baby find if they are comfortable to helping out especially with dads daddies daddies relax a lot i could not stress this enough daddies relax a lot when it comes to it. when a person says that okay a mom knows how to hang her hair when she's fussy a mom knows how to like set her hair when when i'm failing to do that they get to just relax you know and even forget so i will like stress it out there that pay attention when a mom is extremely exhausted you know just see when they need that help because at times i feel like even by my or uh, even with myself if i woke up around about seven o'clock or nine o'clock and by the time maybe i'm thinking okay let me rest around about three o'clock or four o'clock and it just clicked to me that i haven't sat down from morning until now 
and I actually need some rest and then the baby would just need my attention and I have to attend to that I'm sorry about the noise again and I have to attend to that you know and it ends up me not resting and hours go on and on and on you know so a mom would really appreciate if they could like get a break from all of the things they were doing so if you want to help just show up and help you know because I feel like when it comes to that is at times they get to just relax and find it okay to just go out and chill and have fun while you are struggling to find balance you know and also I applaud shame the single mothers there I applaud them they're strong babies I mean if you had a baby who whom you were raised with your parents or mom, you still are single parent because we would greatly love to handle or raise a baby with the partners we've made the babies with, you know. So it's not nice to just uh, be a single parent from what I have witnessed and from what I've seen, it's not nice for anyone. So single mothers are strong out there and I wanna like put it out there, daddies, 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 please be there for mothers after they had a baby, you know, because after they had a baby, there are these pains, you know, whether it's natural birth or it's essentially, but one gets to have pains. They're still trying to recover from that. They're still trying to get strength from that and have their self back to themselves, you know, and also at the same time, they're still trying to get, um, used to the baby and the chores of the baby and all that they cannot do that if they are not strong enough if they cannot stand up on their two feet so that's why i'm like dad is be there for your kids dad is show up for your kids you know uh, show up um and for for the mothers also because a mom really needs a help when it comes to uh the baby after having a baby especially those uh early days you know what i mean especially those early days because from two to three months the baby is still young they cannot be out there for long if a mom choose to go outside and run errands by themselves they cannot be out there for too long you know because you cannot be handling a baby this side and also trying to run the errands for a couple of hours because the baby will like not have it outside for that long well i know it for my baby but for most mothers i do know this happens you know so it will be very nice it will be very nice for you to be there show up and all that and i also thank the lord i also thank the lord shame for blessing me with the baby that that shows up you know because shame he's been showing up ever since hey, ever since ever since ever since and the third thing that could be very supportive, a mom is really, really in need of a massage. A massage, a foot massage, a shoulder massage. Well, those are my favorite. Those are my favorite. I know there are people who um, don't like their bodies to be touched. I'm sorry guys, my cat just gave me an alert that it was full, so I had to offload it a bit. So as I was saying guys, I know there are people there are people who are uncomfortable to be touched by strangers, their bodies to be touched by strangers or unfamiliar people. They've got preferences when it comes to whom should be touching their body. But I do think that we as mothers need massage. You know, most of us we are like, oh, I wish my foot or my feet can be massaged or my shoulders could just be massaged because we're most like tired and interested and you could feel like your muscles are stiff a bit and you would like um, a massage and also a pregnant woman I would not stress that enough you know when I was pregnant I was like always needing a massage a foot massage shoulders massage my guy would do it sometimes and sometimes like I gain again you know what I mean so if you want to support a mom or really want to show up for a mom or you're willing to uh, help a mom out book a massage or book a spa what am i saying book a spa or maybe provide a massage for her that would be very nice for a mom we would really really love that and 
that is really a need when it comes to mothers. Moving on to the next thing that you could do to support a mom if you are willing is to help her clean up the space is to help her clean up the space because we don't always look presentable we try to do those touch-ups there and there to just uh, have a presentable space and feel like we existing you know it depends on a different being on different people but for me it's just like that you know so having somebody to help you out clean up the space would be very very nice or maybe if you're another person who would like help out when it comes to cleaning if a mom has just sorted stuff there and there please try to clean up after yourself don't just if a mom maybe had to wash dishes and you just throw a dish out there you know and not wash your dish so clean up after yourself uh whether you were using a shower or you were doing anything just clean up after yourself after using that certain thing to make a mom's job easier and better you know what i mean so that would be very helpful to a mom so the next thing that you could do to support a mom out there is to provide coffee for them to coffee lovers tea lovers or their favorite drink or whatever but for me i'm a juice fan i'm a lemon water fan just to say oh here you go would you like lemon tea or would you like a juice or i brought you your favorite juice all those kind of things that would be nice. just a small gesture any kindness that one gets to show we're really appreciative because we're like oh at least i knew that we at times i feel like we forget about ourselves we forget about the things that would be really helpful and things that we need as moms you know and having that person uh to remind you that i'm there for you or i'm showing kindness to you or you deserve this you know to show your appreciation to show that i'm i'm, I'm seeing your your efforts as a mom it's it's really a good thing it's really a nice thing it makes a mom feel better uh, it, it really gives a positive space or it motivates a mom in some way you know what i mean so a coffee favorite juice a uh, favorite cupcake whatever the case so the other thing that a mom would really need or you would support a mom with it is getting a mom a home hairstyle uh, don't mind me i just cut my hair before i gave birth and that was intentional because i thought i wouldn't be able to handle all these activities or all these duties or all these cures if i have to have my hair in the list you know what i mean because my hair was thick long it required a lot of work and uh the inner me knew that i wouldn't be having that much time because i was still like i was more like planning to dedicate my time to a baby getting to learn how to do things as the first time mom and also learn about the baby and see how i navigate through that stuff and i feel like that was the best decision i made for myself and up to now i don't regret it i'm glad that i did that over i'm loving my short hair now although it's growing uh, pretty much faster than i thought you know and uh, in no time i'll be having to like uh, trying to handle my hair again at least my baby by then would be um grown you know what i mean so uh besides that to those who have hair and stuff a mom a mom is mostly occupied you know trying to balance things as i've said before you know so uh time to do the hay and spend two hours three hours trying to like properly take care of your hair is slim so if you could just be supportive on a mom if you know how to do hair and say oh can i do your hair wash the mommy's hair and make their simplest hairstyle that they would like you know or maybe um get a hairstylist to do their hair at the comfort of their home that would be very very helpful and that would be shower showing support that would be lovely to a mom out there so yeah guys those are the things that a mom really really needs to feel like they're supported to feel like they're motivated to just go and on and keep on doing this mommy job thing because 
motherhood is a job because I'm not detached from what I've experienced so far. The little moment of me being a mom. Hey, Gusale, I'm new to this time. My cousin was saying at home, they were saying, Yo, Gusale, I'm new to this time. It's not about Imbonga. I'm just like being observant about like little things. I feel like that's the way I am. I'm, I'm a person who analyzes a lot. I'm a person who who just, who just doesn't do something out of doing it. I do it with my heart open. And and when I see that this is really important, you know, and I would think like, okay, this is really important. Maybe someone out there might use this information, whether it's one or two people. That's just the way I am. So people forgive me if it's motherhood this, motherhood that, baby that, baby this, baby that. Uh, so for me, it's just that, guys. So guys, please be kind to mothers out there. Please show support and check on and check in with the mothers before just forcing your opinions or just doing something. Just see what a mother needs. You know. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.